Tenya Teen Vogue staffer who supported ouster of new editor used N-word in tweets a decade ago. So will her woke colleagues now turn on her? Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host Dum Dum. We got another subscriber, so the sub counter goes up. I appreciate that. For everyone else, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. I've been covering and following the story of Alexa McCammon. She was the Teen Vogue chief editor who recently resigned because of tweets that she did over 10 years ago. The cancel culture came after her and got her fired. Here are some of the tweets that she wrote. The first one reads, outdone by an agent, what's new? The next one reads, now googling how not to wake up with swollen Asian eyes. And the last one reads, give me a 2 out of 10 on my chem problem, cross out all my work and don't explain what I did wrong. Thanks a lot stupid Asian TA, you're great. There was more tweets that I'm not going to read and it probably didn't help that her boyfriend was this guy TJ Dukala who worked as President Biden's deputy press secretary who was forced to resign from the White House last month for threatening a political journalist who wanted to report on his relationship with Alexis. Well, the woke cancel culture mob decided to write a letter to the parent company. It says, as more than 20 members of the staff of Teen Vogue, we have built our outlet's reputation as a voice for justice and change. We take immense pride in our work and in creating an inclusive environment. That's why we have written a letter to management at Condell Nas about the recent hire of Alexi McCammon as our new editor-in-chief in light of her past racist and homophobic tweets. We've heard the concerns of our readers and we stand with you. In a moment of historically high anti-Asian violence and amid the ongoing struggles of the LGBTQ community, we as a staff of Teen Vogue fully reject these sentiments. We are hopeful that an internal conversation will prove fruitful in maintaining the integrity granted to us by our audience. Well, there was a twist to the story because Miss Christine DeVitt, who you see on the screen here, was one of the supporters to get the editor out. Well, guess what? She had her own racist tweets from the past as well. Here are some of those tweets. The first one reads, I love the contradictory nature of the phrase white n-word. The second one reads, n-word, I miss your ass. And the third one reads, n-word, you owe me a nap. So the question is, will Christine, who you see here on the left, get canceled, just like Alexi, who you see here on the right, was canceled? And in my opinion, I think not. Why? Well, let's just take a look at this picture for a second here. On the left, we have Christine, who has the purple hair, the nose ring, and these exaggerated eyelashes and eye makeup. And on the right, we have Alexi, who looks like a very traditional, modern woman, nice hairdo, nothing sticking out of her nose, and not excessive makeup all over her face. So for the left woke tards, what you see on the left is more aligned with what you typically would think of as this progressive woke person and the person on the right is not. Now, I don't know either of these two women personally and I don't really know their backgrounds all that much. We're just basing this on looks alone. Well, guys, in my opinion, everyone should be canceled because everyone has something that they probably done in the past that they're not very proud of. Or we should just forgive everyone, which is what we're taught, and move forward. Well, that's my opinion. What's yours? Leave it in the comments below. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum. <laughs>